Okay, here's the generator interlock kit. Just opening it right now. Just arrived. A little manual there. And some, uh, here's some screws, some hardware, some uh, warning sticker. Here's the kit itself. See this guy here, it says whole drill template. If you guys can read that. Okay, that's used. You gotta place this on the panel cover to drill your holes. This is the part that actually goes over the uh, um, 30 amp breaker for the generator. And this goes down, this part down here goes down and connects to the breaker itself. The stickers on here kind of sideways. They did not do a great job getting that nice and square. And this is the piece that goes on the outside. So you can see it's just a bunch of plates. Now this actually goes on the outside of the panel held in by uh, these these screws that have the standoff so it doesn't, you know, so it gives it some room to slide. That's what that standoff is for. Alright. Okay, so the first step is to remove this panel, the front panel, in order to install the interlock. There's four screws and remove it I'll be right back okay now that you've got the panel off uh, everything is live so you want to work carefully but the next step is you're after that screw inside of there that one right in the middle is the one you're after we're gonna back that one out and install the uh, internal plate okay so the first part is in uh, that hole back there is actually a self-retaining screw so I had to shut the power off get a pair of pliers and really pull on it and then unscrew it and pull on it um, same in reverse order it really takes a lot of torque to get it in there but it will come out and it will go in and that's how it looks when it's fully installed it's powers on it's nice and tight okay next squirty provides you with this little drill hole template you turn your uh, panel cover over I just stuck a couple of pieces of wood in there. These are like the little one by fours. This is like, so it gives it some uh, stability. You just, what the instructions tell you to do is, this is circuit number two. They want you to put this at the top edge, mark your holes, and um, drill them. I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use like a little drill set so my drill doesn't float, and um, drill some holes in there. So I'm just going to step it up. Here's a, I'm going to use a really small drill first, and then I'll, I'll go up from there. Basically, got my drill set in there, and uh, I'm just going to drill through this in the locations, and I'll be right back. To help with the drill, I'm just going to put a drop of uh, the chain oil. Uh, Daddy? You can use any kind of oil, but this should work. It helps really to drill through. Daddy? I'm using this just okay. okay, now that the pilot holes are... Uh, drill you just take a per the instructions 3 16 inch uh, drill and uh, widen those up for the uh, shoulder stop holes okay this is the interlock actually installed as you can see it it slides freely and the whole idea is once it's on the panel it'll interlock the main breaker that's here with the generator breaker that's here making it so that if one is on the other has to be off all right so let's put the panel let's put the uh, the cover on the panel and see how it works okay that's it um the job is done as you can see this interlock slides freely but you see when i try to move it up it bumps into this this is the 100 amp breaker that is on so you can figure when i turn this off it'll make just enough room for this to slide all the way up and this 30 amp generator breaker will flip this way and it'll feed the power to the rest of the house. So this interlocks these two breakers together. Uh, you can only do it, um, you can only do this particular setup. This is actually a square D panel with the square D interlock kit, but it's really, really handy. So now this one breaker can feed any one of these circuits for me. And this breaker is tied to right through there is an inlet box. It's fed by my generator. So at this point, this uh, installation is completely done.